Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Board Smashing. Not nice to see you back. So here we got for the chopping block is none other than another Lalaloopsy product. This is a Lalaloopsy Easy Bake Oven. Just recently, I rewatched one of the Lala Loopsy movies, Welcome to La La Prep School, and attempt to do a reevaluation on it. And let's just say that that movie is sadly the better film of the entire La La Loopsy movie series. I already know how much I love to hate these movies, but since there are no more La La Loopsy dolls being manufactured, I've decided to go on out and get myself a Lala Loopsy Easy Bake Oven in attempt to relive some of these memories. And also right over here is a, a pile of superfluous stuff that I'm going to be specifically baking in this Easy Bake just to see how things will go before I eventually pour water in it and basically ruin the thing. Let's get to it after I continue to ramble upon my little Lala dynamic. So in the wake of seeing the La Loopsy movie, The Search for Pello, I decided to hop on board the Netflix train and just to see like how bad the other movies are. While I will come clean and say that all of them are not very good, well, in terms of chemistry with the characters, logic sense, and simplicity. That's a way to best describe these movies. The one film that holds a candle to The Search for Pello was La Loopsy Ponies. And you know, I for one love My Little Pony. I thought this would be an interesting dynamic, but no, it just turned up crap. And that little musical number that was thrown in it was just depressing, let me tell you. So when it comes all down to how crappy all the movies are, Welcome to La La Prep School is sadly the most redeeming. The animation's a lot better, so is the music, and it actually has a storyline rather than just a bunch of eye candy and a bunch of other sugary crap that all the other movies suffered. I could easily relate to the character of Stormy Cloud, because it was pretty much like my alter ego when it came to hating these movies since the search for Pello. While the movie was okay, I felt that two other things could have been added to it to spice things up. Since it's La La Prep School, I would have expected more La Loopsy characters. It would have been much more interesting just to have it be done on a grand scale, like actually have more La Loopsy characters so that way we can have a La Loopsy cinematic universe, but who the hell needs that? And then one other thing would probably be an expansion on the sibling themes. In the movie, the Stormy character has a sister when they're actually going through this button genealogy crap. And so, as it turns out, her little roommate is actually her sibling. And she's like, I'd rather not take it for grant. Then again, they could have stretched the runtime out by another 15 minutes to expand on that little snippet of the film. It would have really helped bring home the message. It has a powerful message to girls. And I would agree, but I'm not going out on a record to say that the movie is that really good. It's decent, but sadly the most redeemable as all the other ones just suffered from too much crap and went to shit after that because they stopped making the toys a few years ago. It makes me slum that this whole La Loopsy thing won't be able to stand on its own legs. So that way I can continue to hate on the series because I love to hate these things. The toy line is okay, but the movies are no exception. It was fun while it lasted. Well, not really fun for me to be able to hate on these movies. Anywho, enough said, let's get cooking. And this is also another thing. When it came down to actually watching the film on Netflix, I couldn't really get through it because I already had suffered too much with 
the other movies. And this one was taking a completely different turn than all the other ones. So I didn't really know what to expect. Even though the movies went past Search for Pillar like 45 minutes, they feel longer than they're supposed to. But it's taken all this time for me to go out on iTunes, rent the movie, watch it for myself, and finally make peace with it. All right, so I got the machine all set up at the side of my neighbor's house and I'm ready to light it up. Now, just to remind you guys, my neighbors are totally fine with me doing this since they've been familiar with me for many years as well as these crazy shenanigans. My movies and my shenanigans are here, so what do you expect? And we also got some salt right here, which I'll pour some water on eventually. Let's see what this does. Like after we fry every last one of these. So let's get to it. Red light right here. So it should be getting hot. And then we'll kindly slide in our first portion right here. Little ruined SpongeBob figure and these magnet Mr. Crab Legos. And also a little license plate with my name on it. Yeah, I got that. All right, so obviously this is metal, so do not try this at home. To prevent electric shock, do not immerse in water. Wipe clean with damp towel. Hot oven interior and oven back. Do not touch. Hot food, do not touch. 120 watts, AC only. 60 HF, HZ, 100 watts. So let's go ahead and slide this in here, or it probably might be best to do it with just the Legos. Unless they're not gonna fit. It'd be better if they're spread out. And then push them in with the bake. Put them in the oven. Get that into the oven. There we go. And in. I had an easy bake oven many years ago. They were cookies and all that kind of stuff. I may have gotten it for Christmas back in 2010 or 11. Those years have come to pass and eventually just became something useless around the house. Also, you know, just thinking back to this, I thought I had some more La Loopsy sketches in mind. I have pitches for them, but just no inspiration. Like one of them is the reason La Loopsy got canceled, just making a parody of that. And then another one is just a critical movie review on La Loopsy, Welcome to La La Prep School, which I already just gave right here in, for this little video. But the, the cancellation one is the one I'm more focused on. So it'd be cool to make a parody out of that something that's in the style of a Brandon Rogers video. To which I have done a Lala Loopsy parody called My Roommate Pillow Featherbed. If you want to go check that out, I'll put a link down there. It has my friend Scott Needle in it. Longtime friend from middle school. Came together one day and thought, you know what, let's just make a movie. Which also is a way to be able to vent out my hate for the Lala Loopsy search for Pillow. So, making that video. Let's see if the figures are ready to come out. Again, this is very hot, so we need to be very careful. I think they fell in because they're all magnets, so there's no way it's going to come out. I think I've got SpongeBob, or maybe not. Unplug it real quick and then. Tip this over. Now it's just like jammed in there. You can't really tell. Around. This is too narrow right here. So I have to fish them out before we can move on. 
Oh, they're off to the side. I do smell the heat. There we go. Got a few of them out of the pot. Well, warm. I don't know. The SpongeBob barely melted. And this, this, just crabs still sticks on, but it's crap. So let's just move on to these other Legos here. Let's go ahead and maybe insert my little license plate in here. And then let's see about these other mini figures. A little parrot here. It's like a little 3D printing video where this guy 3D prints a little parrot. Records your voice. Let's go ahead and shove in the license plate. It doesn't come out the other end. I think metal is such a bad idea. Mm, who cares? Got a little stamp right here. That's not going to really fit in. This is an old stamp. A little mermaid. And then we got some McDonald's right here. This is all Barbie. I like to collect these tiny little necessities for my little Lego videos. So my minifigures are here. These are supposed to be Excite Bike figures, custom made. I was gonna do for my little excite bike video, but that never really got finished. So next stop is the frying pan. Oh, the license plate is still in there. Get in there. Hopefully it's in there. And then I'm just gonna probably throw all these away. Nothing's come out of the opposite end. I don't really need the parrot. I'm going to try to do it with some skeletons and a little ghost and then bullseye and then these are my old Bob and Joe figures. If you remember those little Lego videos up on YouTube all those years ago. But I have duplicates that wear these little bandit hats. So I'll be sure putting those there a little bit let these cook for a bit here maybe get some little salt get some salt in there I really don't want to electrocute myself actually pouring water on it but I still want to see these kind of results I don't know where it goes through these holes but probably through the little oven so now we just have to wait yeah I'd almost like to do more Lalaloopsy destruction videos but then again, I want to be able to focus on school and my other film projects. But I very much like to do that little La Loopsy edition that I just mentioned. I smell it now. I'm going to go ahead and push it out, push the stuff out, see if it cooked anything. It's warm. It is a little warm, but let's go ahead and see what is in here. Oh, there goes the salt. Let's see if anything cooked. Uh, did nothing. It is warm, but nothing. Probably needs to cook longer, but I'm not going to do that. I'm bored already. How about throw in some spooky, scary skeletons? And maybe a little ghost. This one glows in the dark. And let's go ahead and push him in. Oh, wait, I'm using the reverse end here. Get in there. The ghost. No, that's not going to go in. It's all about waiting now. This might end up being a two part video, but you'll still watch it anyway.